G'day guys. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick overview of some coffee accessories I use. Um, I found there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that go through them individually, but none of them bring them all together. So let's crack into it. Starting with the Breville Dual Boiler BS920. Uh, so a pretty common coffee machine in the game. Um, I've used it for about a year now and yeah, a real workhorse. It's really good. For the grinder, I picked up a Niche Zero about two years ago now. Absolutely love it. Like the title, pretty much zero retention. And yeah, it made really consistent espresso throughout the time I've had it. So working left to right, um, the coffee accessories I use, starting with a Normcore 58.5ml spring loaded tamper. I only picked this up about two days ago, but absolutely love it. Um, as you probably know, it's got the lip on it so that you get a perfect planar um, position when you go to compress your pup during pup prep. Um, what I've been using mainly is this custom made tamper. I got it off um, a guy in Sydney off Etsy. Uh, really nicely made and finished. It obviously doesn't have the rim on it though, so you just gotta make sure that you're coming in real straight when you tamp the pup down. With the Normcore tamper, I also picked up this dosing ring or dosing funnel. Um, I was using this one off Amazon, it's about 25 bucks, but what I was finding was during my puck prep, when I'd tap inside the porta filter, it would sometimes dislodge this ring and it was being really annoying. So being a magnetic dosing funnel, uh, this Normcore one has been awesome and really improved my puck prep. On distribution tools, you can spend a lot of money on them. This is just a cheap one off Amazon, does the job, don't have a lot to say on it, but um, yeah, really had no issues with it. WDT, kind of all the craze at the moment. Um, this was one that was 3D printed. I'll chuck the link in the description. Um, it's basically just a 3D printed um, tool using acupuncture needles. So it has nine acupuncture needles, works really well. Um, pairing it with the Niche Zero, probably not as essential, but if there's any clumps remaining, just make sure that um, we get rid of them. Finally, uh, Taomo Milk Jug, uh, helps with latte art. Got a really nice spout on it. Um, it's a good size. My only um, advice would be if you're making multiple coffees and want to froth a lot of milk, this one is on the smaller side. But yeah, really uh, versatile, really good to get that sort of latte art patterns happening and really like it so far. So in terms of bean storage, I use a Fellow Atmos, um, a really, really good bean storage device being vacuum sealed. It evacuates all the air out of there so it keeps them fresh for longer. I did for a long time use this canister here, but it doesn't do any evacuation, so there is air trapped inside. Uh, the only downside I'd say on this is, this is the largest size and it holds 400 grams. With most coffee beans coming in 500 gram or kilo variant, it is on the smaller side. We'll jump in now and grind some beans and then we can get onto the espresso making. So my workflow starts with measuring out uh, 20 grams of beans and we're gonna look for a two to two and a half uh, ratio for the espresso extraction. So when you hear that, it just means for every 20 grams of uh, beans, I wanna see a yield of between 40 to 50 grams of espresso. So I'm using a time more scale here, really good value for money. You can spend hundreds of dollars on the Akea, or I don't know how you say it, but this one here is about $100 and goes down to 0.1 grams. So we'll measure out our 20 grams here. Alright, so 20 grams. On the dot. Chuck that in our niche. So here, once it's stopped, I just go in with this little, it's I think a, for babies, a little suction cup, but it's basically getting the last of those little grinds stuck in the grinder still, uh, to get as close as to that zero retention. So now weigh them out, we're hoping to see about 20 grams. Boom, happy days. So now for the pup prep, I've had the machine warming up for about 30 minutes, so we got our nice hot porta filter. So with the niche, it comes with a really good dosing cup. So I just flick it, give it a little bit of a shake and a spin. 
tap it just to set some of the grinds, couple spins of the cup, bang down, it's nice in there. Now with our new dosing uh, funnel, magnetic, so nice and secure, jump in with the WDT. As you'll see, there's not really any clumps to begin with, but this just makes sure that there's absolutely gonna be no channeling. Um, and it gives us that nice fluffy sort of grind. This is where the bent comes in. I'll now do a little tap on the side just to evenly distribute those beans. With my previous dosing funnel, this is where I'd see it sometimes fall off and coffee goes everywhere. This next piece, um, this was something I incorporated about six months ago into my puck prep. Doing two taps on here before going in with the distribution tool, I found reduced the last bit of channeling I was getting um, and perfected my puck prep. So I just give it two bangs on the table and then come off with the new dosing funnel. A few spins with our distribution tool, just to lay it flat. So now we've got a really nice flat bed to get that tamper on and with that lip, which you'll see sits perfectly there, when I press down, I get a perfectly flat tamp. Got a couple times there. And we've got a beautiful flat puck ready to be extracted. Now I'll just do a quick run of the machine. Uh, the benefit of this is any old water that's caught in the group head will be flushed out and also heats up the cup before we extract into it. So now we'll zeroize our scale, chuck in our nicely prepped water filter. And we're looking for a 30 second extraction with a 2 to 2.5 ratio of espresso. Now that we're done, we'll weigh it in because we zeroized off it with the cup. 48.7, so like I said for two 2.5 off 20 grams, looking for that sort of 40 to 50 gram ratio, so pretty much bang on there. Brings us to the end of a prepping our espresso using a brevet dual boiler and the niche zero grinder with a few coffee accessories. Cheers.